What is up everyone? This is Ryan from Ryan and Crystal's Reviews and today I got Barrel and Blade. Now there seems to be a lot of stuff in here so we're going to get right into it. Um, ow. Thought I cut my finger. Oh that wasn't even too. Kershaw knife, y'all know it's sharp. I've cut myself with it before. All right, so open up the box. This is what you're going to see. We got a whole bunch of whole bunch of items in here. Yeah, okay. Operation 42. Whether you are more into tactical gear or survival gear, this month's gear addresses a critical area of everyone's kit. Eating. So we are level two. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items. Um, there are a few items in here that I was probably going to buy, but now I don't have to. So that's really good. Let me check one more. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. We're good. So first item is the Eastbit or Eastbit. I don't really know how you say that. Solid fuel cook set. So this is a pretty, pretty common item, pretty popular item. You see it a lot on Amazon. Pretty much when you start looking for camping stuff. Um, survival gear stuff you, this one seems to pop up so you get this nice little bag with it this is a 36 MSRP value that's, I think that's about what it goes for on Amazon so you got a lid and you got another bag in here and this is kind of like a cup and then this should be the base yeah so base on there like that and then uh, the top so this is a pretty neat little little device to throw in your go bag um, or your camping camping gear so you've got it got a little cook set there so normally I'm, I'm, I'm assuming I'm probably gonna get fuel tablets too will be my guest uh, yep we're just gonna pull it east bit solid fuel 12 pack so a 12 pack of the combustible fuel tablets. So basically you take these out, you put one, you put one right in there, you light it, and you should be able to, you should be able to boil water. It probably takes a little bit. Um, I think these are supposed to get up to like, like 300 degrees, 400 degrees, something like that. What does it say? Burns at 1300 degrees. So I was way off. Uh, I meant to, I think I said three. I meant to say uh, whatever. Um, yeah, so there's 12 of them in here. Yeah, so they look like little individual packets. Kind of look like gum, so I wouldn't try to chew it. So that is the first item, first two items. Uh, so the fuel tablets are at 850 value. Okay, so the next item is a Yuko Switch Spork Utensil Set. Now, if you go back and would look at my um, video I did on the Nomadic, in which I got frustrated because, you know, Nomadic is doing this um i'm not i mean these things are what's the eight dollars msrp so this actually so you kind of want to keep i would try to keep that together if i can get it out of here without breaking the no. i was going to try to get it out of there without Because I, I, mean, I would think keeping the, the cord to it would actually be a good idea because then you could hang it in your bag. So, okay, so we've got, well, I don't think you can do that, can you? Let's just take it off. I guess you could. 
So, looks like it's supposed to, yeah, there we go. So it comes loose. Here's your fork, spoon, knife. So a little different. I mean, you know, how many times has these things been done? A bunch. Yeah. And then it's, it kind of sits together like that. And I guess you can you know, wrap your cord back through it or whatever to get it to tether. However you wanted to do it, I'm I, I'm just I'm I'm not a big fan of these things. You know, I mean, I've got the the K bar one, and that's that's basically the one I'm going to use. So that would be something maybe I would give to someone uh, as a gift if they're you know they're into survival stuff, camping. Okay, so the next one is the Zippo flexible neck butane lighter okay yeah so i'm not going to open it up but um so pretty much it says fill with butane before you use this don't even put butane in it i guess not yeah i guess not so i guess there's nothing in it so there's really no point to open it okay so there it is there so this is you know it's got the bendable neck on it and then basically, just like the normal, you know, your candle lighters, grill lighters, whatever, hit the switch, lights up. But this one's kind of nice because you don't have to, you know, if you were going to light a candle, you know, you got to kind of dip it down or you got to pull the candle up and kind of go that way with it. Otherwise, the flame goes this way. This one, uh, you could just bend and hit it real quick. So that's a, that's a neat little, little thing. Um, that one is $22. Seems about right. Okay, so the next one is the Hybrid Light Puck Expandable Lantern and Charger. So that is this guy. So that is an expandable lantern. And it charges as two inches tall as a flashlight, 40 hours of light on one full charge. And it charges your mobile devices. Recharge with any light source or use micro USB for rapid charging. So it must be solar. Yeah, you can see there, it's pretty good. I think the solar panel's there on the bottom because the top looks like another another light. Um, it looks a lot different than what they have on the back there on the top, but it must be a different style. Yeah, so I would say this thing is like, a, it looks like it's, it's plastic in the inside, so it's like an accordion so you could shoot it down. I guess that's what, that's probably what it looks like when it's all completely collapsed. So that's, that's a neat little thing. Always A light source is always good to have. I always say, you know, two is one, one is none, you know. So in that situation, always having a light source um, for you is, is really good. Let me scoot these back a little bit so you can kind of see what's over here. So we got this, and we got our tablets, and we got our quick set. So you can, you can kind of see them here. Okay, so the next item is the Gerber arm, ball, arm Bar Cork, which is a multi-tool, $39 MSRP. So basically it's got a, it says eight tools, frame lock, texture grip, and it's got a bottle opener. So you've got a pry bar, a bottle opener, a hammer, corkscrew, foil cutter, lever arm, scissors, and can package opener, and a fine edge blade. There it is there. Um, I'm actually not going to open it. I'm going to leave it in the package. So that's a neat little, well, that may actually go in my, that make that could go, that could make its way in my, my car EDC pack. Cause that, that is a neat little, that is a neat little item. And the last item is the Gerber George folding shovel. a folding shovel. <sighs> I only say this because I literally just bought one of these, not the Gerber one, it was the SOG one last week for my car emergency kit. And now I'll, 
I'm kind of mad at myself because if I just would have waited a few days, I could have saved myself. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for it. I bought it on Amazon. These are really cool though. These are really handy to have. Um, this is a lot smaller one though. So, well, I don't know. So usually what you'll do is you'll, you'll unscrew this down and it'll fold out like that. Well, this, actually the one I have probably is a little bit better and then you just screw that up. So this is just a shovel. I don't think you could use this. My, the other one I have, you can actually use as a pickaxe. So this is just a small shovel. It's just for short little, like if, like say for instance, you got caught, um, in a snowstorm and, um, you were, you were stranded you got caught in a snowstorm, stranded, which can happen. The Northeast, I hear, is about to get hit by a pretty good sized one. You get out of your car, there's snow by your tires, you can't get out. This would be something to dig out. You get stuck in mud, um, and maybe you wait till it, maybe it dries out, you get caught, whatever it might be, you can, you can, this will, this is a good little emergency to dig yourself out. Um, I don't know what that's for though. Is it safe? There's a little depressed locking buttons to slide handle down. Oh, so you can actually Well. Looks like it's supposed to like Does it extend? Or does it Oh, so it, so I guess you can make it shorter. I'm not sure why you would want to, but there is, oh, there is a hammer here on the back. So you could use that, you could use that little, little spot there as a hammer. Bam, bam. So you could use that to, um, probably could take that back, unscrew this down. I screw this in. You could use it probably like that to hammer. Boom, boom. I guess you could use it as, you could use it that way too, as maybe like a pickaxe. I think there's supposed to be a bag in here. Yes, there is a bag. So you get a little nylon bag to go with it. Um, these things, these things come in handy. They're good little items to add. You know, I, this one's probably small enough. This one could actually maybe go on my go bag. Um, you know, this one's only uh, maybe a foot long, 15 inches long, whatever it might be. Um, doesn't say. See, lightweight foldable shovel with a glass filled nylon shaft and rubberized handle secure for, secure the grip for digging or hammering. Use it as a spade or fold back to reveal a hammer for pounding. Easily fold away with a push of a button. I don't know how you fold it away with a push of a button because you got to unscrew that. I'm not a fan of this one so far because it looks like there's like little holes right here on the edge that I would think that, that those are supposed to slide into, but they don't. Hmm. Let's try this again. Put it this way. Not really sure, but that's supposed to fold in like that, I guess. And then this would fold down and then turn over. That's still not gonna fit in the bag though. 
I still well, maybe maybe we will. Maybe we will. Let's see. I feel like there's I guess it kinda does. I feel like there's something I'm I'm not I'm not grasping there, that concept of something. So that is it for this month's box of the barrel and blade. Um, so if we look at it, remember this is called barrel and blade. Okay. Um, tactical outfitters. I think yeah, tactical plus survival plus monthly. Okay, so they've it used to be this is I think it used to say barrel and blade tactical outfitters. So now we're, I guess they've, they've kind of transitioned a little to add some more survival gear um, because really the only blade is this. I guess you could almost say the shovel is blade, um, but none of these have to do with barrel, which barrel would be barrel of the gun. So if you notice in the past, we've gotten targets, rifle rests, uh, speed mag loader, knives uh but for some reason i guess they've decided to move towards more of a camping survival outdoor thing because this would definitely be a camping item this would be a camping item the spork camping item the zippo lighter i'm i'm not really i mean i guess you could use it as a camping i guess you could light these if you wanted to because i think you can just light them um yeah, ignites easily with matches or lighter. So these three items kind of go together right here. Um, but again, not really barrel oriented or blade oriented, but I, I, I guess they're moving away from that and going towards more of a um, survival gear monthly service, which is fine. I, I love survival gear. That's the reason why I started doing this. So that's fine with me. Um, I'll take more of it. Um, or, you know, if I, if I don't need it, I always try to gift it out to people to, to maybe get them thinking about it a little bit and, and what it would take and prep a little more than what people, people really do. Um, cause you never know. I mean, look at 2020, you know, we didn't know that 2020 was going to be the year that we did. And if you would have been prepping, you know, food wise and, and getting yourself acclimated and, and understanding what it's going to take, Hey, you might've been a little more prepared for 2020 and, and all the obstacles and challenges that it's brought to us. So, um, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, we always appreciate you guys um, liking, subscribing, and putting down in the comments below. I love to listen, to hear from your comments. I know Crystal does as well. So, that's it. And we hope to see you in the next video. And I shot this video on December 16th. So Christmas is right around the corner. So monthly boxes are always a cool thing to have on hand because if, let's say I've already got one of these, I've already got something like this, I can gift it. You know, that's a little gift for someone you can kind of throw in real quick. You know, this this right here, I mean, this is like gift gifting 101 right here, right? I've got, you know, two or three different little multi-tools. Hey, I don't want, hey, I can gift, gift it to someone. You know, and maybe maybe it gets their their love with um, surviving and outdoors and camping and all prepping all that stuff. Maybe it starts you know kind of starts their you know I don't know if a, a pocket knife will do that, but you never know. Maybe maybe the shovel would, maybe the the cook set would. So we appreciate everybody. Uh, everyone have a have a great Christmas and happy holidays, all that good stuff. And we will see you in the next video.